is Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Well, Happy New Year's, everybody. We're off to a great start. Looks like we're getting a storm coming through. Maybe the storm window's going to open up. Time will tell. Uh, it would be really nice if we get a little bit of moisture. Don't need a lot. We need enough to make everything nice for the summer. Okay, let's talk about the fishing. Upper Owens River, guess what? Trophy trout starting to show up. What's that mean? It means we can drive right up and fish them. Wait and see how this storm plays out. If it muddies up the road or if it puts too much snow, we might be walking in to fish up there. Okay, what are we fishing up there? Well, for me, same old, same old. Why do I fish the same flies all the time everywhere? Because guess what? They work. So what are the same flies? Well, olive quildagon or a hotspot pheasant tail to catch the little fish. And then for the big trophy trout, what am I using? A green gold print nymph. It's tied out a wire for the body and the stoner nymph. Why are those two flies working? Because they're offering the fish a big bite to eat. And where are we fishing them? The deep holes, the deep runs, and the cut banks. That's where those fish are resting and feeding, and that's where we're finding them, taking the flies. When it comes to the spawning beds, I don't fish over actively spawning fish. We want those fish to reproduce so we can have a healthy fish population in the upper Owens River. Okay, let's go over to Hot Creek. It's not getting any pressure. Most guys are chasing the big fish. They're not looking for the little fish. It's not really much of a dry fly opportunity right now. So if you want a nymph, and pretty much nymph by yourself, go to Hot Creek. Midges, tiger midges, zebra midges, blood midges, brassies, those things are working there. There's also mayfly nymphs in the water. Good population of bluing olive mayflies. So I'm using beadhead flashback pheasant tails and hot spit pheasant tails in there. Middle of the day, good time to fish. Be aware of the way the sun is right now. By 1, 2 o'clock, it starts getting cold in the canyon. Fishing seems to slow down. So yeah, I'm fishing 10 to 1, 10 to 2 at the most. Okay, let's head down the hill. Guess what? Great news. Lawrence River down to 250 CFS. Got out the other day to make sure I can wait and make sure there's fish in there. What are we fishing for flies in there? Well, same old, same old. Um, I'm using the olive quildagon on the bottom, and I'm using the stoner in the middle, and I'm using a hot spot pheasant tail on top. Well, it seems like every time the water drops, we see an increase in hydropsyche because they get to move with the water and not get stuck high and dry. So I'm seeing a lot of hydropsyche caddis in the fish samples that have been taken. So that's the other fly I'm fishing out there right now. What are we catching? We're catching some nice fish, 10 to 14 inch brown trout. So my recommendation, throw the waders on, go fish the lower Owens. Bishop Creek Canal, it's dropped, it's low, but I'm not spooking fish in there yet. So it's not as low as it will get. What am I fishing in there? Well, right now they're feeding on midges and they're feeding on black fly larvae and they're feeding on mayfly nymphs. So what flies am I using? Well, I'm using beadhead flashback pheasant tail in an 18 or a 20. And I'm also fishing the stoner nymph in there. And then I'm fishing midge patterns down to a 24 tiger midges, olive midges, zebra midges. Well, this has been Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Instagram or on Facebook. And also, every Tuesday at Mahogany Smoke Me, join us and eat a burrito. Or you can find me on lpptv.us.